Swamps and rivers can be mysterious places. In fact, sometimes trekking through a swamp can be downright terrifying. These bodies of water can harbor some seriously sinister secrets after all. From mysterious lizard men to trees being sucked down into the earth. These are the 20 terrifying things found in rivers and swamps. Swamp Ghost In the lush and mysterious depths of Papua New Guinea swamp, an unexpected relic from the past had earned itself a legendary status, the Swamp Ghost. This wasn't just any relic, it was a World War II B-17E bomber. The locals, convinced it was haunted, had turned the site into a sacred haven, with flowers and offerings, all in an attempt to keep the supposed spirits at bay. Who would have thought that amidst the thick foliage and murky waters, an airplane lay concealed? Fast forward to 2010 and the authorities in Papua New Guinea decided it was time to release the Swamp Ghost from its watery prison. With the blessing of a new lease on life, the legendary bomber headed back to the United States. Its final resting place? Hangar 79 at the Pacific Aviation Museum in Pearl Harbor. A fitting tribute to a flying relic that had defied the odds and found its way home. So next time you're in Pearl Harbor, make sure to pay a visit to the Swamp Ghost. It's living proof that even history's most forgotten can have an incredible second act. Giant Freshwater Stingray Giant freshwater stingrays are the true heavyweights of the underwater world, tipping the scales at over half a ton and stretching out to a jaw-dropping 16 feet in length. The biggest one in the world clocked in at a mind-blowing 800 pounds. That's double the weight of a full-grown gorilla. These colossal rays call the riverbeds of Indonesia home sweet home, and they're not exactly a gourmet delight, which means fishermen tend to give them a wide berth. Come on, can you blame them? These aquatic giants are not to be messed with. They're so hefty and feisty that they could turn a little fishing expedition into an unexpected tug of war that lasts for hours. Yep, you'd need a net the size of a football field and nerves of steel to wrangle one of these titans from the depths. 300 pound alligator gar. Here's a fishing tale that'll have you on the edge of your seat. We all know fishing as a chill way to spend an afternoon, right? Well, not for Texan YouTuber and conservationist Peyton Moore. This guy decided to turn his fishing trip into an all-out monster hunt. He set sail down a Houston bayou with one goal in mind, to find a gargantuan alligator gar, a whopping 8 feet long and weighing in at a jaw-dropping 300 pounds. He actually found the behemoth, and not only that, he managed to reel it in. After a bit of tussle, he hauled this colossal fish ashore, measured it up, and then did something truly noble. He released it back to the wild. Peyton didn't stop there, though. He promptly shared the whole adventure on his channel, Wildlife, for all of us to witness. Now let's talk alligator gar. These bad boys are the big papas of the gar family, and the biggest freshwater fish in North America. According to National Geographic, they call the lower Mississippi River Valley home and have a diet of smaller fish, blue crabs, waterfowl, and the occasional turtle. But despite their intimidating size, they're not out to get us humans, so no need to fear the gar. Swallows trees on video In Louisiana, USA, a giant and mysterious sinkhole has been swallowing up everything in sight, including in the forest. Footage from the underwater sinkhole in Bayou Corn has gone viral, and this insane video shows the shocking moment that these 40-foot cypress trees are consumed by the force of nature in less than 30 seconds. According to reports, the sinkhole was caused by a collapsing salt mine and has created an environmental disaster in the area, with an entire town already being forced to evacuate their homes. Local people have claimed that it all started one summer when residents began to smell diesel and noticed mysterious gas bubbling on the surface of the swamp. Since then, it's said to have caused around $12 million worth of damage, including swallowing up these towering trees. To make matters worse, there are rumors that officials don't even know exactly how deep the sinkhole is, and a measuring cord reaching 750 feet in length didn't even reach the bottom of the ominous hole. Now that's what we call terrifying. 900 million year old fossils. This fishing trip turned into a journey through time. Andy Moore, an angler with a knack for uncovering the unexpected, 
recently made a discovery that's straight out of a paleontologist's wildest dreams. It wasn't a feisty fish he reeled in, but the fossilized remains of one. Moore was out on the Missouri River near Yankton, South Dakota, trying his luck during a fishing tournament. Just when it seemed like he was reeling in a whopper, his line went taut, but it wasn't a fish that bit. Nope, it was a hefty rock. Moore steered his kayak over to the rock to free his lure. But what he found was beyond belief. Embedded in the stone was what appeared to be a massive spine. He didn't waste any time and got in touch with the US Army Corps of Engineers biologists for confirmation. Sure enough, this fossil was dated to be a whopping 90 million years old. It belonged to a prehistoric predator fish, adding a whole new level of excitement to Moore's day on the water. Who would have thought a kayak trip could lead to face off with a creature from the ancient past? Medieval Sword Forget Excalibur, we're talking about a real-life Bosnian twist on the Arthurian legend, in a story that would make even King Arthur himself raise an eyebrow. A medieval sword has been uncovered. Thrust deep into solid rock at the bottom of a river in Bosnia, a hand and a half long sword from the medieval era. Firmly wedged into stone made its grand debut this summer at the bottom of the river Varbras in Bosnia. Experts are calling it a major archaeological discovery, and we can see why. Removing the sword from its rocky sanctuary was no easy feat. They had to perform this delicate operation underwater to make sure both the sword and a chunk of the stone could be brought back together. In nearly 90 years, this is only the second medieval sword to surface, making it an archaeological marvel for the ages. Now that's a story fit for the Knights of the Round Table. 65 foot monster. Things are getting downright mysterious in China's mammoth Yangtze River. People have been catching glimpses of a strange critter, and it's become the hottest topic in town. This enigma is roughly a meter long, decked out in black, and it's made not one, not two, but three appearances. The big question on everyone's lips, what on earth is this creature? Online speculators are throwing around all kinds of theories, from a quirky water snake to something straight out of the unknown. Some are even drawing parallels to the legendary Loch Ness Monster, thanks to its long shadowy figure. Could this be China's very own Nessie? Video evidence has popped up in various spots along the Yangtze River, from a ferry dock to Yichang to the Three Gorges Dam scenic area. And the Yangtze is no small fry. It's Asia's granddaddy of rivers, stretching over a whopping 6,300 kilometers. Now, what we really want to know is what in the world might be lurking in the depths of this colossal river? Tank in a Swamp We're diving into World War II tale that sounds straight out of an action movie. The T-34, that Soviet tank superstar, had a starring role in thwarting the German Blitzkrieg during Operation Barbarossa. But what makes this tank story truly exceptional is its incredible journey. After slipping into enemy hands, this war machine underwent a sneaky transformation, a fresh coat of paint and it was back on the front lines, but this time fighting for the other side. Now here's where it gets absolutely riveting. A young Estonian boy was casually strolling Lake Kurtna Masterev when he stumbled upon tank tracks leading right into the water with eerie bubbles rising to the surface. Talk about a jaw-dropping discovery. But that's not where the story ends. Decades later, a local war history club rolled up their sleeves and embarked on a mission that sounds like something straight out of an Indiana Jones movie. For two whole weeks, this band of history enthusiasts put their muscles and determination to the ultimate test, engaging in a colossal tug-of-war with the muck and mire all to drag that sunken tank from a 12-foot deep bog. Yep, sometimes the most incredible stories are hidden in the unluckiest of places, waiting to be uncovered. A Burning River We've got a fiery story straight from the down under. It seems like something out of a sci-fi movie, but it's happening for real. In Queensland, Australia, the Condamine River has turned into a fiery spectacle as methane gas bubbles up to the surface creating huge flames that'll make your jaw drop to the floor. This strange phenomenon kicked off when coal seam gas operations started nearby. Since then, the volume of gas seeping into the river has been on the rise, and the affected area just keeps getting longer. It's like Mother Nature decided to put on a show. 
Enter Green's MP Jeremy Buckingham, who made the trek there in southwestern Queensland to see this gas-filled spectacle firsthand. This is all part of the Greens' campaign to put the brakes on fracking and unconventional gas in Australia. The methane extravaganza began back in 2012 when methane was first spotted bubbling through the Condamine River near Chinchilla, right where coal seam gas wells had been drilled by Origin Energy. But fast forward to today and it's like an oversized jacuzzi of gas. Yep, this is one of those stories that makes you wonder what's really happening beneath the Earth's surface. Swamp Creatures Allow us to introduce you to Sophie Prestigachiamo, a French artist with a flair for turning mud and seaweed into bewitching sculptures that seem plucked right out of a swampy fairy tale. These aren't your run-of-the-mill statues, my friends. Oh no, they're shapeshifters, morphing with their organic surroundings. Thanks to the vision of the Nature Reserve's curator and a successful crowdfunding campaign, this marshy wonderland is now home to around 10 of Sophie's ethereal creations. She makes the occasional visit to perform a bit of touch-up work, but let's face it, these sculptures are destined to gracefully fade away, becoming one with the marsh once more. And Sophie's mystical creations have taken the internet by storm. Facebook, YouTube, and blogs are buzzing with excitement, with some folks even convinced they've stumbled upon mythical creatures. But fear not, dear wanderers, these are not paranormal cryptids. They're simply the result of Sophie's boundless imagination and skill. How's that for some unexpected art in the heart of a marsh? And now it's time for our open discussion. What a man just captured in a swamp terrifies the whole world. Yes, this curious creature appears to have been captured in a rural village, but nobody can identify it. With human-looking hands and feet and a boar-like head, this must be some kind of cryptid never seen before. But what do you guys think? Use the hashtag open discussion in the comment section below to share your thoughts. 18th Century Cannons Back in October 2011, Detroit's finest from the police department's dive team stumbled upon an absolute gem during what was supposed to be a routine training session. Six meters deep, just behind the iconic Cabo Center, they unearthed an 18th century British cannon that had been quietly resting there. Forgotten by time. Talk about a lucky strike. Now, this cannon's got a tale to spin. Historians speculate it played a role in various conflicts before finding its final post at Fort Lernerl in Detroit. But in 1796, as the British decided to say farewell to the fort, some quick-thinking soldiers decided to give this cannon a new home by the riverbank, right near what we now know as Cobo Hall. And here's where the genius kicks in. They hauled not just one, but a total of six cannons into the frozen winter ice. When spring came and the ice began to thaw, those cannons took a plunge into the depths of the Detroit River, where they laid low and undisturbed for an astonishing two centuries. Pretty amazing find, right? Shipwreck in River A historic surprise is resurfacing from the depths, along the banks of the mighty Mississippi River in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. A shipwreck has emerged as water levels plummet to potentially record-breaking lows. This discovery is like a window into the past. A local resident out for a stroll along the shore stumbled upon this sunken treasure earlier this month. Archaeologists on the case believe it might be the Brook Hill Ferry, which likely piled its trade in the late 1800s to early 1900s. Shuttling people and horse-drawn wagons from one side of the river to the other. This was in the days before those massive bridges were built. Digging through newspaper archives, they found out that the Brook Hill met its watery end in 1915 during a major storm. Now, what makes this find even more special is the Brook Hill's rarity. It's not your run-of-the-mill boat. This is a unique piece of history that's been waiting patiently for its moment in the spotlight. With these low water levels, experts can give it the careful study it deserves. But while this shipwreck is stealing the show, it's not all smooth sailing. The shrinking Mississippi is causing some serious supply chain headaches, with cruise ships having to do a U-turn mid-voyage and barges finding themselves grounded. It's a wild ride on the river, that's for sure. Creepy Dolls Get ready for a spine-tingling mystery that sounds straight out of a horror movie. The enigmatic case of the Alabama Swamp Dolls. 
The brave deputies of Autauga County found themselves on the edge of their seats when eerie reports started flooding in about dolls causing a ruckus in the heart of the Bear Creek Swamp. Not just a few dolls, mind you, but a whopping 21 of them lurking in the depths of this infamous swamp. And these dolls are far from ordinary. Their hair and faces have been painted ghostly white, cranking up the creep factor to the max. Now, you might be wondering who on earth would place such peculiar dolls in such a spine-chilling spot? And what could be the motive behind it all? Well, here's where the plot thickens. Fearless teenagers have been boldly venturing into the very swamp for generations, braving the darkness to uncover the truth behind the mythical creatures, whispered to dwell in these murky waters. It's a mystery that's got everyone scratching their heads. And the question remains, what eerie secrets does Bear Creek Swamp hold? And who's behind these chilling dolls? Lizard Man. We're taking a jaunt down memory lane to the eerie folklore of Lee County, South Carolina, where the notorious Lizard Man of Scape or Swamp wreaked havoc for decades. Legend had it that it all began on a dark and ominous night in 1988. A young man had found himself stranded with a flat tire near the treacherous Scape or Swamp. As he stepped out of his car to deal with the flat tire, something sinister emerged from the shadows. A creature straight out of your worst nightmares. It was green, dripping wet, stood a towering seven feet tall and had three creepy fingers and piercing red eyes. News of this spine-chilling incident spread like wildfire, capturing the attention of newspapers, radio stations, and even television. Suddenly, everyone wanted to know more about the infamous Lizard Man of Scape or Swamp. The buzz became so intense that the area quickly transformed into a hotspot for tourists and daring monster hunters, all hoping to catch a glimpse of the elusive Lizard Man themselves. Local radio station WCOS even offered a whopping $1 million reward to anyone brave enough to capture the creature alive. Crazy, right? Mazda RX-7 Just outside Portland, Oregon, there's a stretch of the river that's become a real-life car graveyard. Thanks to Adventures with Purpose, the YouTube channel that specializes in recovering submerged vehicles, we're getting an up-close look at this watery resting place. Armed with scuba gear, this daring team followed a tip and hit the underwater jackpot. They unearthed not one, not two, but six vehicles lurking beneath the river's surface. And the lineup is a car enthusiast dream come true. We're talking a Chevrolet LUV pickup truck, a Ford Mustang Mach 1, and even a first generation Mazda RX-7. Now, let's focus on the Mazda RX-7 for a moment. It's quite a tragic story. This Japanese sports car had been chilling at the riverbed, submerged in muddy water for who knows how long. The bodywork was covered in mud, the windshield was shattered, and the roof was caved in. It's a heartbreaking sight for any car lover. But with some serious dedication and the right tools, there might be hope for a resurrection. The mystery behind why these six classic cars found themselves taking a dip in the river remains unsolved. Were they involved in accidents? Stolen? It's a riddle that might never get solved. 5,000 year old human bone. We've got a bone chilling tale from the banks of the river Thames. Simon Hunt, a graphic designer, was out for a row along the iconic river in London when he stumbled upon something truly extraordinary. A very ancient human femur, or upper leg bone, resting on the riverbed. Now, here's where it gets even more fascinating. Tests carried out on this bone revealed that it's a whopping 5,000 years old, dating back to the tail end of the Stone Age. This relic hails from a person who lived during the late British Neolithic period, somewhere between 3516 and 3365 BC. That's a mind-boggling stretch of history. Simon didn't waste any time. He reported his find to the police, providing them with the exact location. But in a twist of timing, the rising tide played a little trick, and by the time the officers arrived, the spot was underwater. Talk about a race against time. After the discovery, the police sent the bone off to the lab for some serious testing, and months later, when Mr. Hunt got the results, he got the surprise of a lifetime. This bone predates both Stonehenge and Egypt's Pyramids of Giza. It's like a window into an unimaginably distant past, 
right in the middle of modern day London. Amazing, right? 2,000 year old butter. Deep in the heart of Ireland's Emlog Bog, a mind-boggling 22-pound lump of butter dating back 2,000 years emerged from the muck. And guess what? This isn't a one-time thing. Turns out ancient butter made from cow's milk is like buried treasure in peat bogs across Ireland and Scotland. Now you might be wondering, why on earth would our ancestors stash butter in swampy, muddy bogs? Well, it's a head-scratcher for the experts too. Back in 2009, a jaw-dropping 77-pound barrel of bog butter aged 3,000 years popped up in County Kildare, Ireland. Then in 2013, a turf cutter stumbled upon a 100-pound, 5,000-year-old hunk of the stuff. Fast forward to today and there's a whole museum in Cork dedicated to these buttery archaeological wonders. Some think our early Celtic pals used these bogs as natural fridges to keep their butter nice and cool, while others believe it was an offering to bog-dwelling spirits. Brave souls, including chefs and journalists, have even taken a nibble. Apparently, it's got a meaty, mossy taste with a hint of salami vibes. And the smell? Let's just say it's not for the faint of heart. Would you be brave enough to try this bog butter on your popcorn? Let us know in the comments below. Roman Brothel Token We've got a scandalous Roman relic that's just resurfaced. Along the banks of the Thames, an amateur archaeologist struck gold, or rather bronze. With the help of a trusty metal detector at low tide, they unearthed a Roman coin that likely played a role in some steamy transactions. Now this isn't your average Roman currency. It's smaller than a modern 10 pence piece and features a rather explicit depiction of a man and a woman in, shall we say, a compromising situation. Historians are calling it the first known Roman brothel token to be found in Britain. This little piece of ancient scandal lay buried in mud for nearly 2,000 years until its recent discovery. On the flip side of the token, there's the numeral 14. Experts speculate that this could signify that the holder traded in 14 small Roman coins, known as asses, to get their hands on this saucy token. Back in the first century AD, that would have been the equivalent of either seven loaves of bread or a day's wage for a hardworking laborer. The token has now found a new home in the Museum of London, and curator Carolyn MacDonald sums it up best. This is the only one of its kind ever to be found in Great Britain. What a find. Loch Ness Monster A group of Irish students were just innocently working on a college project when a strange sighting changed their lives forever. They were out in the waters filming a quirky shot film titled Fishing with David Lynch. When things took an unexpected turn, out of the blue, a massive shadowy figure glided past them, leaving everyone wide-eyed and completely puzzled. Quick as a flash, Kanal Malarkey, one of the students, shared the spine-tingling footage on YouTube. In this shaky 59-second video, we see the seriously spooky thing leisurely cruising the surface of La Foil, then disappearing into the depths. Now, before we all start believing in Loch Ness monsters, Skeptics came out of the woodwork, pointing fingers at visible cables near one of the boats. Some even questioned if Cornell Malarkey was a legit name. Talk about a twist. So, was this a genuine close encounter with a cryptid or Nessie, or just an elaborate prank to reel in the internet's attention? That's the million dollar question. Bronze Head of Claudius We've got a relic straight from the ancient Roman world, back in the spring of 1907, in the river Adel, at Redham, Suffolk, a bronze head of Emperor Claudius was discovered. And let us tell you, this head comes with a story that could have been ripped from a dramatic historical novel. Expert Jocelyn Toneby aptly noted, the lower line of the neck is torn and ragged, and there can be little doubt that this head was violently hacked from its body and carried off as loot from some important Roman center. This relic, now housed in a museum, was once part of a life-size bronze statue of Claudius. He wasn't seen as the typical military leader, but rather a scholarly figure. Statues of emperors like this would have graced important public spaces, and it's likely this one might have stood tall in the settlement of Clochester. Now, here's where it gets even more intriguing. Some speculate that the head's removal and the destruction of the statue might be tied to the rebellion led by the British tribal leader Bodica. 
That's a pretty incredible discovery if you ask us. 